What is up guys? Control channel. My name is George. Today I gotta be covering the Odysseus part as well as creating an IPSW modified a custom made firmware using the IPSW application and also the restore part with iDevice restore on a Mac. I actually live in mobile device on a Mac. So Odysseus actually is a bundle, a couple of tools also including Keyloader, an application created by WinOCM and uh, WinOCM actually describes those applications she created as um, a couple of applications created for bootstrapping another operating system on iOS devices. Well, we're not going to use them for that for the moment. I gotta be covering that on a future video, but for today we're going to use Mac OS part of this Odysseus, which contains iDevice Restore, iRecovery, IPSW, SSH tool and uh, ticket validate expound tool. And here we got, uh, sorry, here we got ourselves the firmware bundles and uh, those bundles as you can see are for iPhone 5C, 5 and uh, 4S as well as iPhone uh, 4 and uh, a couple of iPads. But are for um, older iOS versions, for example 8.1.2 or 8.4 or no 8.3.1 and um, I gotta be trying in the future to modify them in order to update them to the latest version, but of course I will do that after the keys get published. Today I gotta show you how to create those um, IPSWs. I gotta tell you that uh, Keyloader uh, is compatible with X32 devices and um, only uh, the one who got keys, if you want to use Keyloader in order to bootstrap a um, a pounded IBSS for soft DFU mode, but I gotta be covering that on a future video. You can also check Billy Ellis, one of my friends, who also got a tutorial for that, a very good tutorial in my opinion for that, uh, and you can check that. And um, today I gotta be showing you how to create that IPSW, the modified one. The process is uh, semi-automatic, and let me show you how you, for example, I got myself the iPhone 3.1, 7.1.2 right here, because iPhone 4 is compatible with uh, Lime Rain Exploit, Bootroom Exploit, created by GeoHot. And you need to copy the IPSW right here. Open terminal, if you don't have terminal here on the dock, you go on the launchpad. In the search box, you write terminal on any OS X version. And you're going to be opening this uh, application. Of course, it might look slightly different than mine, but it's okay. And you got a CD into this. Um, as I said, in order to download Odysseus, you have to go right here on your favorite browser, on dateon with a zero instead of o.com slash downloads, and on the downloads page you have Odysseus. It comes as a zip file and you just have to, um, to unpack it and you are done. Okay, so um, I, I gotta uh, let the link in the description. Okay, so first of all you need to CD on desktop slash Odysseus. There we go. Again, CD into the Mac OS folder. And now you write dot slash IPSW. We're going to call the IPSW application and leave a space, take the name from this, uh, from this IPSW right here. Paste it right here. Leave a space and insert the name of the custom made firmware you want to create. I gotta be writing custom made firmware uh, backslash and um, will be um, 7.1.2, for example, the version dot IPSW and hit the enter key. It will start the hashing part, will hash the IPSW, and as I said, the process is semi automatic. You don't have to do nothing for the moment, it will patch IBEC IBSS according to the key page and the bundles from the firmware bundles and it will actually uh, try to, to detect your IPSW from the bundles. It did detect my file, so it will start loading the DMGs. You can see also the sizes, the one that is bigger has of course one gigabit and, half, and uh, almost a half. And the, uh, the two RAM disks, the update and restore RAM disks. And as I said, this application will create things up, um, actually uh, will patch everything, will insert keys automatically, will do anything automatically. As you can see, this is basically dmg.exe on Windows, but in this case it's expound tool. You can use expound tool, let me show you in another window. 
I guess I can open another one. Launchpad, other terminal. Uh, I can't for the moment. Well, you can use Xpound tool exactly as you use um, dmg.exe on Windows. You can see right here. Mm, just a second to log in. Three, two, one, go. Okay, and uh, you have right here the usage, in file, out file, and uh, everything you want right here. So it's basically the same as DMG EXE on Windows. You can you can create a custom-made firmware file called Bypass on iPhone 5 using Xpound tool on a Mac, and you don't need Windows. And um, this is actually for decrypting the, um, the root file system DMG and creating it back. Also right here, as you can see, it started the creation part the building after patching the uh, the things it's exactly what you, what we do on windows manually on the split and parts this one is automatic and using the firmware bundles it knows the uh, the keys it knows the anything so it just goes and we'll create of course a, a custom made firmware alongside with the one right here after it's finished but we let it to do its job and i got to move the uh, the application part right here and I gotta have the terminal bigger for you. Well, in the future, I gotta be covering uh, installation of uh, two different uh, iOS versions on an, I on an iPhone 4. For example, how to use iOS 7.1.2 and iOS 6.1. For example, the same time on, uh, on the iPhone, multiple boot. And as well, I gotta be using the uh, key loader for that, created by Winnow CM, because it's compatible and, uh, of course, it uses the... Um, the, uh, the so-called Limerain exploit. The, uh, this application, IPSW.exe, can be used with iPhone 5 and newer devices that has keys, uh, but you have to specify things manually and um, or you create a far more bundle for yourself. As you can see, you have here already created the bundles for um, iPhone 5C and 5 and 4S, as well as the iPad, so it's not impossible, but you have to work a little bit. And you have to have keys available. The keys are actually very important because they decrypt things up. You can also create combination between IPSWs, but it's not very stable and uh, you got the idea. Okay, so uh, yeah, it's building things up. Left. It still has a lot left, so I'll be back when it finishes. Okay, so it's cleaning up. It's packing things up. Exactly as on Windows, as I said. But on Windows, you have to do everything manually. Of course, you can create an automated uh, script on uh, Windows too. A bash script, from what I know. But uh, of course, those scripts might fail, and yeah, here you go. You got the idea. It's packing up. Uh, it means that putting back the uh, the files on the uh, IPSW. Exactly what we do on Windows, um, what I did on Windows on uh, 32 minutes, it actually it was actually created automatically by an application in, I don't know, 7 minutes. <laughs> this is the power of automation. Okay, this one is bigger, of course, has 1 gigabit and uh, 100 whatever, and will take a little bit, I'll be back. Okay, so it's packing everything up on the IPSW, as well as the firmware, uh, kernel cache and restore plist, and it's done. Well, right at this point, you should be able to see the IPSW, and you are able to see it. And it's created as an IPSW, the same size as the original one, as you can see right here. And how you restore it, of course, you... Um, you might want to put your device on uh, pound DFU mode, but the uh, iDevice restore part is simple as well. You, of course, open terminal. Not you. I want the green one. God damn it. A second, guys. Oh, fuck. Okay. And you can CD again into desktop slash RDC. Oops. 
and CD again in Mac OS. I device restore dot e, uh, dot exe. I'm uh, I, I'm still on Windows. Okay. Uh, why not? Okay. Or you do that. You write I, and I gotta connect my iPhone four in order to grab its AC ID. Or you can use the unique device ID part for that. Um, if you want to use unique device ID, you have to insert U right here to uh, dashes and open iTunes. Uh, continue. I gotta accept things up on my device, I guess. Trust. Because we need the actual, um, the actual serial of the device. Go in iTunes. It got my device right here. Uh, okay, set up as new device. Get started. Uh, unique device ID, you copy it, paste it right here, and insert the parameter E for erase, and you grab the uh, custom made farmer from here, insert it right here, and things should start basically. Let's see what happens if the process starts. I think it actually um, it actually extracts things first. I guess I don't know. Gotta make this one bigger for you. Just a second. As you can see, it started the uh, the actual restore exactly as on Windows. It will get uh, probably uh, TSS records, which means bloops. We wait for, for bloops to be uh, fetched. My internet connection is very poor today. Don't ask. I'm actually uploading the IPSW for, um, for iPhone 5, the custom-made firmware, and it kills my internet connection. Okay, so it extracts the file system from IPSW exactly as I said on Windows will create the uh, the cached files right here but here we've got a percentage and things of course will go will enter in recovery mode and so on. You don't need live USB for this, you just need these couple of applications, will be on um, on description. So yeah, I really hope you liked this, uh, this video because as I said, being an iOS related channel of course inquires having uh, OS 6 videos as well. It's a shame not to create uh, OS 6 videos at all, being uh, the fact that you, you cover uh, Apple in general. Okay, I've got an error on um, on iBack probably because I have um, I have myself uh, the phone not in the pwned mode. You have to put the device in the pwned mode, and in order to do that, there are a couple of tools. You can use Red Snow as well. You can go in Red Snow, put the device in DFU mode, and uh, of course wait for Red Snow to start. Go to God damn it. Go to extras, uh, pawn a DFU mode, and we'll start, of course, the uh, the process. But and we'll ask you for uh, for IPSW. But this is basically it. Uh, what I wanted to show you is the idea of the restore that is the same as on Windows, and that the tool exists for uh, Windows or um, for Mac too. So um, this is basically how you use it. This is basically how you create things. If you want to access iRecovery, you can use this thing up. If you want to create a farmer manually without the um, 
the help of Fire More Bundles, you can use Expound Tool to decrypt things and the rest of things you do yourself. And this is basically it. Don't forget to tell me in the comments what, uh, what you want to be the next tutorial on a Mac and if you liked this video. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe to, to stay informed and I gotta catch you up in the next video. This is George, going out.